Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Today, what we're going to do is actually dive into another part of CRM or Dynamics NAV CRM. Um, we just went into segments. Uh, which are fantastic uh, campaigns uh, include segments and those segments could be uh, subsections of uh, contacts in the campaign and then we can do things with that like mail merge or print out labels or something like that uh, with the, the thing that we want to do today though is opportunities so NAV has opportunities and the what we do with opportunities is if a salesperson is chasing a big deal and it will take a little time for it to be closed. So it's sort of a long sales cycle. Um, we will generate an opportunity for that to keep track of where we're doing or how we're doing with these opportunities. So if we look at the system here, uh, I'm logged in as the sales and relationship manager. And I can see that I already have opportunities as tiles here. I have open 35. Uh, one that's due in seven days, overdue opportunities are 14 and closed are 15. So if I look here at the overdue opportunities, I can see that here are deals that are in progress and I can see that they are in different sales cycle stages. They have certain values. Uh, they are completed uh, differently and chances of success are here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, there are some statistic on all of the deals that are in the sales cycle. So you can get an idea of the pipeline. Uh, and that's in sales we call pipeline. Um, so pipeline is basically the number of opportunities that are still active uh, and they are in different stages. What I'm going to do is go ahead and actually create an opportunity to show you how that sort of works. Uh, if I go into an opportunity here, uh, this is a new opportunity, just hit. So what we're going to do is actually um, set up a coffee stand. So for uh, two weeks at a certain location, it's like a pop-up coffee stand. Uh, and we're doing this for uh, the Canon company, the Canon group. Actually, I changed my mind on that. We're going to do it for uh, the add-on marketing, like so. And it's Peter Sato, who is going to be in lead here. And here we have sales cycle. So we have to decide how is this sale going to behave? Is it going to be like a large account or a small account? Or is it an existing customer, like an upsell? And uh, we're working on selling them something more. So in this case, it's an existing customer and it's a small account. So that's what I'm going to select. Uh, before I go into that, I'm going to click here advanced and take a look at the sales cycles. If I go into that, we can see that the calculation probability is going to be add. So that means for each stage that we go through, it adds the probability of closing, closing the deal, uh, sale. And if I go into looking at the sales stages, and this is user defined. We can see that the initial stage, we only have 2%, uh, we've only completed 2%. We have a 20% chance of success uh, because it's an existing customer, which means that we don't have to go through qualification and all of that. Uh, there's no quote required. And we can skip actually the initial and presentation. So this could be like a phone call, hey, just give me a proposal. Uh, no need for presentation, also because it's small. And this could have had a date formula attached to it, which means that we're expected to move into the next phase within a certain amount of dates. And in this case, we don't have that, uh, but you could do that. All right, so let's move through the sales cycles. Um, we go in here, we've created the first opportunity and I can activate the first stage. Oops. And we say yes. And now this is an active opportunity. We're at the initial stage, 2% completed, etc. So how do I move the opportunity to the next level? We basically just update it. And we go to the next. Remember, I can actually skip that. So I can say, well, I want to skip. So I skip the presentation. 
Okay. Uh, actually, it asks me to give a value. This is going to be a $10,000 deal. And that's it. So we skip that. And then I just update it again. And now we go into, um, uh, into the next step, but we have to assign a sales quote. So I hit OK. And now it says, sorry, we need sales quote for this. That's the proposal. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we go into whoops, assign sales quote. And then it actually brings up a template. So this is really interesting. Um, and I, one of the things I love about this system is you can actually create a sales cycle or an opportunity with a sales cycle attached to a contact that's not yet a customer. Uh, and if it isn't, I just have to select template for the customer. And once the quote is converted into an order, uh, it actually converts the co uh, contact to a customer automatically. So in this case, yep, we're gonna do Great Britain small customers. Uh, and then out on marketing comes up here. Uh, we're gonna put in a quote item. Uh, let's say we're gonna have uh, cheer. I should have some tiers in the system. Oops, London. London Swivel tier. There we go. And we're going to send that out of the blue location. It's going to be 10, etc. So, and then we have some coffee, which I'll add later. And now I close this out, update again and move it to the next step. And uh, let's say now the chances, I feel like they're a little bit better. I'm gonna go up to 70% and hit okay. So we move this along until we actually close it. And then when we close it, it has to say if it's won or lost. If it's won, that means, hey, we got the sale and we put a code to that. If we lost, we can actually put a code Y. Why did we lose this? Because it's important. Hey, we lost the deal. We were going through this. Uh, you want to do some analysis on why you're losing opportunities. And that would be then categorized here. So I want to do a little bit more on opportunities because opportunities actually have tasks attached to them and you can have interactions just like with the campaigns. But I'll leave that for the next video. I hope you get the gist of what opportunities do. And if you're not using it in NAV or any other CRM system, take a look at it. Uh, if you have a long sales cycle, it's worthwhile to actually use this in the system. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it uh, and subscribe if you haven't.